It's December 9th, so here in Michigan, that means snow is coming soon if it hasn't come yet. So it's time for the company Bull TV to get some winter tires. So what's the big deal about winter tires anyway, right? I mean, you got all season tires. All season means all seasons. Well, the reality is a little bit different. I'm not a tire expert, but as an engineer, I know everything is a design compromise, which means that all season tires are designed to get you through most of the seasons competently, but maybe not great in all border cases. Well, here in Michigan, we got a lot of snow and ice, so it's really time to think about winter tires. And the reason is, tire compound is different, it tracks better, and the grip on these things is just absolutely amazing. Take a look at that. Now, this is also an all-season tire. This is a Michelin Cross Climate 2, which is a personal favorite of mine. I'm not endorsing them, I don't get any money from them, but I have them on pretty much all of my EV cars, obviously not my motorcycle. And the other cool thing is because they are still all season tires, what happens is you can also run them in the summer. Again, there's gonna be a compromise. There could be a little bit of efficiency loss. I personally don't notice very much, but it's possible. And maybe the dry traction isn't as great if you're doing launches. But for me and my sedate driving, it works just fine. These stock all-season tires may be great for the summer, but this treadwear just isn't gonna cut it for winter. So it's time to replace these with some winter-capable all-seasons or winter tires. Did I mention that Muskegon has downtown chargers that are free? Yeah, level two chargers that are free here, right by the visitor center at the depot. This is my personal favorite tire shop here in Muskegon. Jinman Tire, no endorsement, just a happy customer. So another bonus of living in the downtown is you can do business with downtown businesses and then walk home or walk to the coffee shop. I think the latter sounds much better. So here they are, a brand new Cross Climate 2s. And you can see this tread is much more winter friendly than the all season tires. And these are again the Michelin Cross Climate 2s. One of the reasons you want tread like this on an electric vehicle is they have so much torque, and this in particular is a front wheel drive vehicle, so all of the torque is gonna go on those front wheels. So it's really good to have extra grip on an EV compared to even an ICE vehicle, just because you don't wanna be spinning these tires. One of the things you wanna check when you get back from a tire shop is where they left the pressure. And by the way, when I first got in the car, it showed me a low tire pressure warning, which is because the TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring system, is not active yet. It has to spin at a certain mile per hour or number of revolutions. Anyway, it won't work until you're going like 25, 30 miles an hour. So don't panic if it shows zero. Um, at first, at least, of course, make sure the tires are flat. But um, one of my pet peeves is tire shops seem to always inflate to around 35 PSI. And in this case, they're also a little bit off. And it's winter time, and I'm pretty sure that these tires can take way more than 35 PSI. So let's check the sidewall and be sure. What I'm seeing here is the max pressure is 50 PSI. Now EVs run much more efficiently at a higher tire pressure. So I think one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna add some air. So I'm not gonna go to the max, but I'm thinking like 45, and that's what I'm seeing here. So let's go 45 all the way around. It's still not perfectly balanced, but it's kind of what I like to see as far as pressure goes on an EV in the winter time. Make sure you recheck it periodically as the temperatures drop. That's it for winter tires. Please subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more content, and we'll see you next time.